So, hello there. Um, this video will be um, about 1.5 plus backwards extensions and flag machines. And the first question I want to ask you, do you want to have a backwards extension which goes seven blocks to the side and only one block back and which uses four different phases um, only to, to like travel forwards? Is, isn't this absolutely horrible? Like nobody wants this, right? Um, so what I want to show you is um, in this video is that you can throw away the stupid backwards extension which goes seven blocks to the side and only one block backwards and instead take this wonderful setup which has only like a single phase like um, if you extend this piston only the first module gets affected the other one stays uh, still and uh, it only has a single phase and it goes one block for, um, backwards for every block it goes to the side so that like, I just activated it once if you now replace these pistons then every then it will be reset and then you can use it again so um, yeah so it's much steeper backwards extension than before and it has only a single phase so much better um, yeah here you can see it how it looks if you extend the single piston lines a few steps. Um, like these are absolutely four steps, but yeah, this is basically the same. But here is the real thing you want to see. Like you want to see the full product, not not just the setup at the end. You want to see the, the whole thing. So here is the whole backwards extension. Okay, and uh, like if I activate this, and then activate this, then the whole thing will move forward. And isn't this absolutely beautiful? Look at this. So this is this is a much better backwards extension than we had in the last video, um, yeah. And now uh, you of course also want to see how uh, this looks on a flag machine. So right here we've got a flag machine, and it's now only thirty-seven blocks wide instead of like two hundred sixty blocks wide or something. So like um, it's much more compact. And here we've now got the signal traveling around, and then um, over here it will travel down, and then it will travel over here. And then it will travel back up. And it will go around in the loop. And here at the, um, at the very back of uh, it, we have the setup which I showed at the beginning of this video. And then, um, then we've got these long stick piston lines. They are quite long, but it's kind of necessary. And then um, at the front, we've then got uh, like a, a nice setup where like uh, the last piston of a stick piston line gets pulled down, then pushed over, and gets pushed up again. So, yeah. Okay, but um, this flying machine is, is very cool, of course, but it has a problem, namely that there's only a signal, 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 signal going around in a loop. Um, but we, of course, want to have multiple signals uh, going around in a loop. And since this uh, flying machine has only a single state, like the backwards extension has only a single state, we can actually have multiple signals going around in a loop, and that's something which uh, was not possible with our previous flying machine. Like our previous flying machine had multiple states, and for that reason, you could only have a single uh, signal going around in a loop, but Right here we can put multiple signals in here. So here's a setup for starting it up with uh, four different signals. So right here we have the first signal. And now comes the second signal. And now comes the third signal. And now comes the fourth signal. Exactly. And now uh, this machine is actually moving at a like reasonable speed. Um, and I think we, you could put even more signals onto this flying machine, I think. There's still some space, but uh, it's really difficult to start it up then. So, like, I just made this setup to start it up with four signals. But you might be able to start it up with even more signals if, you, if you're better. <laughs> like, like, if you spend more time doing this. But, yeah. Um, yeah, this is now, now much faster. Like, I didn't measure the speed, but uh, I will maybe... Uh, but, but it's uh, much better than before. And if you want to uh, stop this flag machine after it has started, that's of course very simple. Um, everything you need to do is like you need to just wait until the signals have passed, and then you place a redstone block here, and a redstone block here, and a redstone block uh, here, and a redstone block 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 here. And then you've successfully stopped this flying machine with four signals. Um, yeah, that's, that's very easy. You just need to place all those redstone blocks and then, then it stopped again. 